Whoa. I found one! So, I played in survival mode. I started with nothing. And I was building my way up, and I'm working my way around the universe. And, uh, I was exploring a little bit, and I decided I'd try and take a mining carriage, and it cut me to ribbons. Because it was just me, no ship. And, uh, and I died! Oh, and I started to respawn, and I was like, wait, there's my medical bay. What are these other three medical bays that I've never seen before? Does the mining carriage have medical bays on it? No, they would be locked. They would be locked, so I wouldn't be able to interact with them. What, what's got the medical bays on it? This does. What's this? That's a really good question. It looks a lot like the blue ship from some angles, but it's not, um... This is not a game where the blue ship exists. I did not spawn in with blue ships, and it's 25,000 meters from where I started. Now the only problem is it doesn't seem to respond to the helm controls. Okay, so I can move forward and backwards, but I can't turn. It doesn't appear to be any there are gyroscopes. There are 104 gyroscopes. Why are they not working? Let's take a look. So I've got all of these... Oh, holy shit, look at this. 10 arc furnaces. 16, 17, 19. A lot of assemblers. Batteries. This is a, a huge, huge ship. Like, wow, this is incredible. This is so cool. <laughs> so here are the thrusters. Where are the gyroscopes? Gyro. Look at all these gyroscopes. Why are they not letting me turn when I try and turn? Um, let's reboot them. <laughs> no, it's not... Not letting me turn. I'll have to look into that. For now, let's look... Well, that's a weird sound. For now, let's look around the ship. Let's turn on my light because it's a little bit dim in here. So I, uh, I, when I got aboard the ship, I expected it to be a mining vessel. So I was like, "All right, I'll just go look for the cockpit before it, before it runs through its ten thousand meter limit, and uh, you know, and and it vanishes under my feet." Where's the cockpit? Where's the cockpit? I was running around. Where's the cockpit? I'll just keep going up, and I kept 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 going up, and I was like, "This is not a mining vessel." It's huge. So we've got this defended hallway here. I made sure to turn the turrets off. That was what first confused me. I was like, why the mining vessel should have all this shit locked down, but I can access it through the uh, through the medical bay. It's got lots of turrets. Why when, when I initially thought it was the blue ship, I remembered in my head. It's been a long time since I've seen the blue ship. I was like, the blue ship isn't this large, is it? It certainly doesn't have ten refineries on it. Oh, I had better um, take a GPS coordinate before I forget. Yeah. So this is the refinery chamber. Look at all these. Jesus, this is a heavy ship. When I posted the other day about my ship, which was uh, uh, a medium, I said it was medium grade. This is the sort of thing that would count as heavy grade, I think. Some cute interior wall decorations. Let's see what's down here. Someone built this in creative mode. There's no way to build this in... Um, holy fur! This is a really big. Let's see what we've got in our inventories here. All right, this was definitely built in creative mode because the inventories are all nearly empty. Uh, just a smattering of things here and there, probably from grinding down a small ship. I'm glad I didn't have to try and take this thing from outside, though. It's got enough ammo to keep firing for weeks. Oh, and I see the gravity does not extend all the way through the ship. What's back here in the gravity list section? Nuclear reactors. Why is it being fueled by 18 billion smalls? I think a large would be more efficient. Uh, I would love to know who designed this and give them props for making my frigging day. This was really nice. 
Uh, it was awesome to discover. Unfortunately, it's also made my creative mode uh, extraordinarily um, easy, <laughs> now that I have enough power to uh, do anything forever. But it was super cool to find it. Uh, and there's, I was not looking for them, because I was like, well, whatever. Uh, you know, I don't actually need any, any ships, and, and I don't expect to find any, because I searched for hours with John. Hours! And I didn't find any. And it turns out that the easiest way to find them is to just fly through an area and then kill yourself. <laughs> this is neat. Alright, well, uh, I don't really know enough about the ship to keep giving a tour of it, but you can see that the basic idea is that it's a heavy refinery ship, which is more or less what I was building back at my base, except this is about 85 times larger. Uh, all I've really got to do at this point is try and figure out um, why the helm isn't fully responsive and I'm just getting engines. There are also a number of extraneous buttons down in the medical bay. Let's see if I can find the medical bay I started in. The one that I showed you a little while ago wasn't it. Because um, I came up from downstairs and there were like buttons and I didn't want to press any of the buttons until I figured out what the hell was going on. So I didn't... Whoa, there are large reactors. Those small ones must be backups. The only downside to these ships is that they don't use mods. Uh, at least I don't think they do. It would be so cool if I could actually um, find ships that were using mods and they would automatically import the mods that we needed as well. Wouldn't that be sweet? Oh, look, at here's the battery. Uh-oh. Maybe it's... Uh, it can't only be on battery power. Is the problem that there's just no uranium? Let's take a look. Oh, no, there's plenty of uranium. Where is the place I started? This place is too huge. Ooh, a hangar. This is a pretty serious ship. Jesus. Actually, I should have known there was a hangar. It was visible from the outside. I was just too frantic to actually discover it. You know, it might be easiest to, to kill myself. Here we are. This is where I spawned. Okay, so these actually don't have any action buttons, but I guess they're probably set up such that you would be able to control the hangar from them if, uh, if you had set it up properly. So this is the cool thing I discovered, and I hope you all enjoyed my little tour of it. And this is my buddy, me. Hi, me. Just you and me on this big ship. Let's see if we can get it back to base.